Hello and welcome. Would you like to get an alert from Power BI if any of your KPIs has met the threshold? For example, your sales has hit the target or your inventory has met its threshold. Maybe we can achieve this using Data Activator. Let's check it out. Now, alerting has always existed in Power BI for a while now, but this was at the dashboard level, not at the report level. Now, on the screen, you see my dashboard where I have two visuals. The first visual is a card where I'm getting the percent growth for one particular manufacturer called One R Stale. And the second visual is a chart where I have percent growth broken down by multiple manufacturers. Now, when I hover over the card visual, I get the option to manage my alerts. And here I can create a new alert and I can set my condition when I, when I would like to be alerted and how often, and I could get this alert via email. So this was always available but I did not have the option to create an alert on a visual like this where it's broken down by multiple manufacturer. And if any one of them hit the threshold, I would have liked to get an alert, but this option was not there in Power BI. Now, now here I'm in a Power BI report and you see the new option of set alert is available right now. And as I click on it, I have the option to pick the visual for which I want to create the alert and I can set my condition here and the notification type could be either email or Teams, and I can save this alert in my, in my workspace. Now, the, this alert in turn, internally creates a reflex, which needs to be saved in a workspace that is that has a fabric capacity. That, that is something to be noted. The report itself could exist in a non-fabric workspace, but reflex or the alert that's created needs to be in a fabric workspace. Now, once the alert is created, you can go into a reflex and further configure it. A reflex is basically a container that holds the events, the triggers, and the actual configuration of the alert. Now, you can see that in, in my sample here, I have triggers set when the percent growth is below point, uh, point 0.13, which is 13%. And here, the this event occurs or the data is collected every hour. So right now there is no, I do not have the ability to configure how often it is collected, but it's collected every hour. So you can see the data points over time and the three, the trigger was detected or the data was de detected to be below the 13%. First, first here for three different manufacturers and then eventually for one particular manufacturer at a different date. And you can see once those detect, uh, detection happened, uh, the trigger was activated three different times and I got an email or I could even send out a Teams message or I could set up a custom action using Power Apps. Now let's look at a, look at how the email would look. This is a sample email when, when my alert is triggered and I would get an email for each time in the scenario, a manufacturer meets the threshold. So for example, I got one for Pyrium and then maybe I, I get one for each of the other manufacturer that meets this threshold. And this is a sample of the Teams alerts I get when the condition is triggered. And each time, again, when the manufacturer meets the threshold, I get one for each manufacturer, even though it's at the same exact point in time, I get individual ones. Now going back to the reflex, I could also create properties. For example, if my percent growth is always 13%, I can set that and then reuse this property in multiple different triggers. There is also a data view I can go to, which basically gives a sample, collects the data for each time the event is executed. So you can use this for further analysis, maybe download it. So that's a, that's a good option to have. We've got overview of data activator. Let's see, let's see if it's ready for prime time. Now we notice that the report, report and reflex doesn't have to exist in the same workspace, but the reflex has to be in a fabric workspace. Now, given this scenario, let's say I have app exposed to the user and the end user goes in and creates an alert. Now, a reflex is not part of an app as of now. So how would the end user manage reflex? How would they go, go in and maybe configure, change the configurations? This is something that I, uh, I think needs to be addressed before this product goes GA. I understand it's in preview right now, but this I think is key. From the admin perspective, I would like to see some more configuration options. I know there's a limit to the number of reflexes an organization can create. So I would like to be able to see how many reflexes are created by whom and be able to manage this from an admin, uh, admin perspective. A couple of other small things that I would like to see is uh, right now when a reflex is created from Power BI, it is executed hourly. Maybe I need an option to run it every two hours, every four hours, basically ability to configure the frequency. 
And also it'll be nice to have the ability to parameterize my notification. Uh, right now it's subject and headline and there's no ability to put in some parameters in there. And I also see some error messages popping up every so often. For example, the one on the screen. It'll be nice if some of these are resolved and I'm pretty sure it will be before the product goes GA. So overall, I think Data Activator is a key addition to Power BI. It is definitely something a lot of my clients are looking forward to, uh, but, def but you know, it might be a few months it before it's ready for in prime time. So that's all I have in today's video. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out www.obvians.com.